human history, like most of human history, go back 100 years, 200, 300, 500, 1,000, we've never been able to ask why. Whatever time period you were in, you didn't ask why. You just shut up, right? Uh, if someone was getting killed, they were hanging somebody, right? You can't be run up there and say, no, no, why are you doing this? They'd be like, you're next, yeah. right? So we've always, throughout history, here in Taiwan, you guys couldn't ask why until 1989, when martial law lifted, right? Right. So people, throughout history, have never been able to ask why. It's a really new thing, really new. So you look at human history, and this is like the very last end of it. Also, we all get to ask why. This is really powerful. Because when we ask why, we learn the truth. We eventually get to the truth. Right? If we don't ask, we don't know. People will tell us things, but you have to ask to get to the bottom. So the Japanese applied this in business in Toyota. Uh, they had a five. <laughs> My computer's way over here. You got your big table. So the Japanese. Transportation. Yeah. And 
another why? Uh, why we didn't do cars? Because everybody wants to go somewhere. That's why. Oh, everybody wants to go somewhere. Yeah. The second reason. Another why? Um, we got too many larger vehicles on the road. We throw smaller vehicles. Vehicle is too large. If we're all so scooters, it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. And third or fourth? What else? What else? There's too much business concentrated here. Uh, the street, the street is old, right? It's old you street. speak too much. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> it's uh, it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Any reason for traffic jam? You don't follow the traffic rule? What? Traffic rule. Traffic. Yeah, oh. people aren't following the rules. Ah, uh, yeah. Rules. But they oh. think it's cool. You know, they, they think it's cool. Sometimes it's just cool. Yeah. <laughs> And another any reasons about about traffic jam? Accidents. Accident. Yeah, yeah accident. Yeah. No parking lot. No parking. Parking, parking, parking lot. Parking. Parking lot. Mm. No parking lot. Right. The streets fill up with parked cars, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can go further. Further. Why there's no enough parking lots? And there's why accident, and there's why the people don't follow the rule, and why there's yeah. so much cars. Why? Oh, wait, hey, hey. I, okay, do you want to keep going with this? Because I've got another example too. <laughs> We're going to go deep into it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let me finish this yeah. example. That made me think of uh, Japan. They, they got a lot of uh, parking space, and uh, is uh, I don't know how to say it, it's uh, really damaged in the building. They, they put all the cars on the road into the building. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. yeah they, uh, there's a rule in, in Japan. They, they don't allow, they don't allow uh, cars parking on the road. Really? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah, they nice. punish them. Yeah. And, and the second, the, if you want a parking space, it's very expensive. Mm. And also the tax of you, of you own a car, yeah. yeah. Very expensive. Yeah. So, the so the yeah. the threshold is very high to keep a car. Yeah. 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 yeah but, but maybe at the same time they got a good system of uh, the subway system. Yeah. Public transportation system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they got a good alternative, right? Uh huh. Any other further further why? Further reason. Why Taiwan has traffic? It's a question again. <laughs> what? Government. Government. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah the government. But, but, yeah. But, we, but we must find out a specific reason of why government do this. Right? Yes, they, they don't used to live here. Mm. They don't they don't need to live on the ground? They don't need to drive the car on their own. So they don't really Maybe. Yeah, there's maybe. a reason. There's, there's a reason. And, and maybe because they are not born here. Not born, not born here. They don't know the local culture, okay. the climate, the business. Yeah. Yeah. But how about too many cars? The, this fact. Mm -hmm. What's the reason of too many cars? Government. Government? <laughs> not only government. Why? Why government? Why government? Well, actually. They've got a 50% tariff on cars, so they're doing their part <laughs> already, so it's not working. They should have 100% tariff on cars, right? Bridge tariff. Why? Why, why there's so much car because on the street? Too much damn money. You put too much damn money to spend. Yeah, that money was. Money. In one car, two cars. Why? Why there's so, so much Because our standard of living is way too high. That's why. Our standard uh, of living is time. Taiwan is way too high. Uh huh. Any other reason? What? What too high? The standard of living is too high. Standard of living. Relative to the rest of the world, you guys are the cream of the crop. All right. I mean, we're talking two billion don't have really good drinking water. Mm -hmm. okay. So <laughs> you guys were the cream of the crop. So it's you guys standard developed. of what? Standard of living. living. Standard of living. Just Belgium or something. So uh, we just yeah, I don't know what it really is, but it's the contentment or the industrialization level that you reach after a certain time. Like, the Nordic countries have the highest standard of living right now. 
but they're really using their intelligence to develop. Uh -huh. you know, the U.S. standard of living was really high, now it's coming down. <laughs> you know, Japan was really high too. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's really expensive. Do you know what I mean? So maybe, uh, maybe North, North Europe is very high. Yeah, because they're really thinking things through. Oh man, they're amazing things with their society. Any other reason for so many cars on the street? Um, they've kind of dominated. The cars have come in and dominated. They've got the right of way. And they're you know they're crazy. Dominate? What is dominate? Dominate. Like they dominate the streets because they're so heavy. The scooters aren't as heavy, so they can't dominate. Right. So they dominate the streets and they push people off of the streets. Right? So you get less bikes, uh -huh. you know, less scooters. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Any other reason? I think the uh, no foreigner is strength in Taiwan. What? So, uh, people walk on a street very dangerous. Ah. Yeah, no, no safe street. Mm. Street is very dangerous. Yeah. yeah. It's not fami uh, familiar with or friendly. friendly. Yeah, not yeah. friendly for, 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 for people yeah. walking on the street. Yeah. Yeah. So people drive. Yeah. Okay. Any other reason? Maybe I, I, I ask, ask you some question. How about a car manufacturing? Don't they want to sell more and more cars to people? Yeah, yeah blame them too, too. yeah. Yeah. Maybe so, the fact government and the industry has some relationship to a lot of people buy more and more cars. And that's, that same thing happened in the U.S., happened in Europe, happened yes. in every industrialized country. Yes. Big corporations got together with the government, but, made things easier to get more. But you know, why not business. in Japan? Mm. So and maybe. And I, I, I ask another, another role. How about bank? Oh, don't even get me started on the banks. <laughs> bank? Don't even get me started on the banks. Uh-huh. Don't, don't, uh, don't they want people yeah. buy more and more car because? Because of the law. Yeah. Yeah, you can borrow money and you can yes. get interest. interest. Yeah. yeah, they can get interest from people. Yes. And then why are those bank managers pushing to make more loans? Why? Why? Because, because they have got <coughs> commissions, I think. Oh. Commissions, have. bonuses, yeah, right. Bonus. They don't Rates. get fired. Don't get fired, right? Yeah. The board of directors, people who own the company, say you must sell more. And they want cash flow. They want cash flow. Right. Yeah, they want cash flows. Yeah. So cash can flow from bank to industry and to the government and to the people. Yeah. And they pick up the ratio. Yeah. Let's go to take out. Another problem is the house. The loans and loans. House, yeah. the house is not land, land. or land. The land or buildings. Yeah. And, and that is not belong to cash, so it don't flow. So it make uh, something just stop. Yeah, stagnation. It's stagnation. Yeah. Stagnation. Stag and all that happens, stagnation, when things kind of stop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then what happens is, because everyone's selling these houses higher and higher and higher, your all your money in your banks gets slowly so, drained down because there's more money being created. There. Whenever someone buys a house and goes through a bank, the bank makes up 97% of that money. 90% of that money is made up. Poof. They just do it on a computer. Okay? And they issue new loans. And that new money that makes new money again and again. The banks are what escalated the last world financial collapse in 2008 by doing this. Right? They inflated the money supply and depreciates everyone else's money. So what the banks are actually doing is they're stealing money back from them. It's 
so, 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 so maybe someday we, we can get their old people and go to the bank and say we want all the money uh, right. take, take, take right. them and out. here's the really shitty part if everybody in Taiwan wanted to get the money out of the bank only three percent of you there's only three percent currency Ooh. in circulation it's only three percent of real money that's it the other 97 percent is made up it's called fractional bank okay no, no one time one knows this but this is the only real proof you have money. Everything in your bank account is just numbers in a computer. Your, enough, your money in your bank account is the same money in him bank account. Same thing. If everyone wanted their money back, only 3%. The first 3% would get it. Guess what? Who their is, money back. Who is re, uh, re, uh, making the real money? Well, the banks. banks right? They're just making free interest for no reason. Yeah. Banks making numbers, but numbers. But making real money yeah, government. by, by, by labor. By labor. Yeah, labor. Sure. Labor is, like, it doesn't money. really exist. The mind doesn't exist. It's made yeah. up. It's fake. It's just numbers. It used to be backed by gold. Banks had to keep the same amount of gold value issued per currency they issued. That stopped in 1971. Okay? Nixon ended that. The gold standard window shut. Since then, the US dollar, of course, inflamed up. And it's sort of when went out. The time when? 1971. 1971. They closed the globe, called the gold standard. Oh, they, they just not uh, keep the relationship with money and uh, yeah. gold. They went to fractional banking. Fractional banking was originally 10%, but they managed to get it down now to 3%. You've only got to hold 3% of the money you have. <laughs> 各国都是美金都是美金呃美因为主要是流动是美金嘛然后美金一开始是跟黄金有关系的大家因为它每次要讲的一九七零开始就不够对它印印钞票可以跟黄金无关这个那个大量举债是吗知道你要查一下美国历
damn flowers. Every year they cause traffic jams, right? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. What are they called? You know, Sakura? Sakura? Saku oh. Sakura. 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 Yeah. Sakura. The flower blossom, yes. Yeah, very proud. Those guys cause traffic problems every year. Okay. It's not the only I, I don't get I don't get it. it. Oh. I think I can do it. Everyone drives yeah. these damn flowers every year and it causes uh, traffic problems. Okay, I, I'm talking about a daily traffic jam without accident. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, for example, uh, when you go highway from maybe from north to south or from south to north. Yeah. When you when you pass a, pass through the the Taichung intersection, you would always flow oh, yeah. slow down. Or you pass uh, pass the Fengyuan intersection, you always flow down. Why? It's always jam there. The, the speed difference between highway and normal road. Yeah. But theoretically, yeah. uh, theoretically pe people work. come uh, coming up into the highway. They they need to speed up yeah. up to 100 km per hour, right? Yeah. Yes. Theoretically, there is no traffic jam because they are, they are, the speed is equal, right? Why? You should just kind of lock in. You know, lock in? Well, I mean, yeah, to come up to speed and then. And why the, the uh, same speed? Humans are idiots. Yeah, humans are dumb. So because he's human. Humans. So yeah, yeah, humans. Why? I don't know. We got problems when we get behind the wheel of a car. We got problems. We, we have to. It's too much responsibility for us for our little brains. Uh huh. Really? We should all know if it comes up. Boom. Perfect. Uh -huh. But we can't do that. We're like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> right? right? And we freak out. Yeah. So. Okay, but that that just costs one car, right? Why it cause a jam? Oh, always a jam there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For whole day jam. Why? Why? Well, I'm guessing people again too. But... Okay, I, I ever read a paper. It says that when you when you when you step the stop uh, brake and you you slow down. You, uh, if you slow down just zero point one. Second, then the car behind you, he will stop too, and the time he brake will increase in uh, increase to zero point two second. Yeah. Is it, so, is it linear or exponential? Yes. Exponential. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. And the second reason, if there's if the if the uh, there's no s such such. Um, more cars on the highway. This is is, is not, not a big deal because because the the, uh, the car behind you they, they got a lot of time to react. Yeah, right. they will not really slow down. Yeah. But uh, the density of cars too high, so that they will because density and people are stupid. Yeah. So there's a, a automatic car. They, they, uh, that solution can can uh, can solve this problem. Yeah. Because they can they can speed up uh, in the same time <laughs> and stop in the same time in the same time. They will sink. Can you imagine in the future being in these cars? We go ahead in the future like 40 years, right? Or maybe go oh, 80 years. And we're cruising this car, and you were sitting there, and this car is flying the traffic, probably doing about 200 kilometers, right? Mm -hmm. Jeez, this car is really so nice. this, The car is driving, right? And we're in it. Like, holy oh, shit, this car's a madman. Like, what the shit? <laughs> oh. Right? You'd be in the car, and this car would go super fast, <laughs> right in, like this. And you'd be like, the computer's controlling it. Yeah. But to us, we're like, holy oh, shit, we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Come look at it. Come look at handle it. And, and, and Our little brains like, so so that uh, BMW and Benz they are already developed a system that that they are trying to make car can communicate each other. Hey, I'm going up. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it will yeah. know. It will know. I know. And you know it's happening already, right? Because we have cars yes. that sense braking speeds. Right? Yes. They pause yes. stopping. So yes, yes, yes. the sensors are coming. Yes. So 
Traffic, 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 traffic can be solved by, by technology. Yeah. And, and Google has the, the monopoly on the control system, on the driverless system. Right? I'm guessing Cisco will have their name on the whole system. But Cisco. Cisco, I think, will have the full control I, system. I thought Cisco is fade out. What? I don't know. Oh, really? I don't know. That's huge. That's oh. huge. Okay. Cisco. What is that? The uh, factory who is uh, was, uh, who products the uh, like router or uh -huh. right? No, I think it's Siemens. That's Cisco. Cisco does a lot of yeah, they do a lot of communications and data movement. They're going big into big data. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, they, they are doing the uh, internet business. Yeah, yeah. Also hardware and software. So they're gone? Are they they're changing no, they're fields? I'm joking. You're joking? Yeah. Don't joke about that. <laughs> That's serious business. I'm like, oh my god, this goes going on. That's I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really, no. Yeah. You don't know. Okay. Anything else? Factory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that you do. This is the two one of the two fine. I have a lot of routers. This one of the two 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 one of 中那个机房的事情，大大车大企业。Okay, example now? Yeah. Okay. Your turn. Uh, actually, this is something that we've been working on already. Uh, homeless people. Why do we have homeless people in the world? Right. I mean, uh, why? Right? Why? We've been talking about this a lot, but we don't have any solutions. But no. maybe, maybe tonight we can kind of go into the whys. Okay. Uh, hit the board here. Give me some why. Why are they homeless? Why, why are they homeless? Yeah. They don't have money. They don't have money? Money issue. Oh, money. It's money. Money issue. That's the main thing, right? Money. Alright, so yeah, I mean, if you have a home, you need to have money.
say shelter because it's shelter from the weather, right? Rain, shelter from rain, shelter from. Uh -huh. That's all we're talking about. And you know, I think, what about that feeling you have at home? You have somewhere you can go? Is that a feeling too, right? Feel you belong in somewhere, right? But I would say some homeless, they'll say they are belong to the street. Yeah. <laughs> they belong to that tree. Now, 
Yeah. And who is thinking kill, kill man is just, just nothing. Just yeah, right. He's a, he's a soldier in 500 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And we just say, hey, he's this crazy guy. He, he kills <laughs> lots of people. His right. mental illness. Right. Mental illness. But in, in fact, before 500 years ago, it's normal. Right. So, is it mental illness or is it that we're all actually insane? <laughs> Uh, it's culture, right? Uh, so basically, they don't fit. They don't fit current culture. They just don't fit. They don't fit. They just don't fit. Yeah. yeah. Well, the culture is this way, and they don't fit. That's what I've gone. Yeah. yeah. So those are some whys. Anybody else? Why are these people on the street? Why? Why are they not? Um, if they have a family, and they think the family will help them or want to help them, I don't know. Maybe they're assholes. Nobody likes them, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Bad relationship. Yeah, bad relationship. Bad relationship. Yeah. So family can be us. <coughs> kind of Anybody else? Service economy, but actually, it's a dying economy. So, the money just spins around. 
service, but they, they call it a service economy. So once your economy goes away, they call it, your government will say, oh, it's, now we're in a service economy. If I want a 70% service, we don't manufacture it. Oh, so service. It's a service economy. But the truth is, it's just a dying economy. The money's gone through, and now the money's just recirculating. But that, of course, that can be changed as well. Can start your country again. Right? So there's, there will be more and more homeless the refuge of the refugee. Because uh, because the society is is revolution. Yeah, they pay. So if you offer homeless people a place to live, I mean, there's a hundred thousand. 100,000 vacant houses and spaces on Taichung. There shouldn't be homeless people. You know? It was like, I mean, Taipei, it's understandable because people are squeezed into, you know, wherever, right, those spaces. Taipei is no reason for it. It's absolutely absurd that this it doesn't have a shelter. You know? There's more houses vacant than there are homeless people by probably 10 times. Yes. So, uh, maybe they are. In the wrong place because some county they got a lot of space, but there have no job opportunity yeah. Yeah. to make money. Yeah, so the development is not balanced or something. There's a big difference between urban and rural. What's urban? Save lighting. You don't need the lighting. 
Yummy. Have you ever seen the BMW Smart Factory? Uh, no, but I can imagine what it is. Wow, it's, it's amazing. Amazing. There's no man inside. You know, these guys watching on computers. No, there's no. I can imagine. That's robots watching the robots. <laughs> He said by 2030, we're going to lose 2 billion jobs to uh, technology displacement. That's a lot. 2 billion is a lot. Now, how many jobs will replace those in time not to cause social unrest? Right? Because if you can replace those jobs with higher thinking jobs, that's great. But if you can't, because people don't have the skills to do those jobs, then we're going to have civil, civil unrest and we're going to have to shake up the path. So why are the robots so much cheaper? Why are the robots so much cheaper? It costs so much less. Because they were dead, dead in Iowa. 24 hours. Yeah, but they were dead. Yeah, 24 hours, maybe. Yeah. Why are they so... Why are they so much better? I don't think they are shape. They're a high initial investment. <coughs> yeah. right. They're a big capital investment, but they pay off. Yeah, they turn the appetite. Seriously, I was riding the bus. I was looking at the bus station, and there was eight people working there. And I can count. Yeah, your job's going to disappear, your job's going to disappear. Right? Because the girl at the window, what bus do you want? Oh, I want this bus. Oh, she looks at her screen. Uh, okay. Phone app, right? Check the one you want. Bing, bing. Auto payment, bing. Your job's gone. Right? Google's driving cars. Yeah. Driver. The driver's gone. I see ya. Yeah. No more crazy drivers driving think, off the road. It's, yeah, I, I, I need five years. Maybe five years. Maybe five years. And then other people around there too. Service, service convenient person selling food and stuff. Yeah, well, vending machine. One person, maybe, to just keep things under control, ask questions, whatever. So eight jobs is down to one. And that's coming. That's coming. If companies keep pushing the profit, right? Because I'm pushing the profit, that's why this is happening. Right? We can keep going with human labor. The companies are pushing for profit and trying to squeeze money out. The robots make more sense economically. One company does it, the next company does it, you know, everybody's doing it. You must do it to stay competitive. If your customer, your, so your, your uh, competition installs robots, you have to install robots again, yeah, right? right? You have to do that to keep up. You could not do that. You get out of business. Right? The economy is driving the system. That's what you do. I don't know. Make me think of some, something. Uh, you mean, uh, you, you say uh, if we keep pushing the profit, uh, some job will disappear. Yeah, yeah and, and the truth now I, I have observed is uh, some job is like uh, charity activities. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, like volunteerism. Uh, uh, and maybe another and, and, uh, their type. Like uh, we hire a, a grandma to, to uh, clean up the food. Oh, yeah. Thing. Right. Like, like in Japan. In Japan, people, older people are now going back to work. Right? They're doing stuff to keep them active. Yeah, but, but I don't think it's out of profit. No, it's not. That's right. It's out of social. Yeah. That's social behavior saying we need to keep these people active. And you know, they've got knowledge and skills that we can hand down to the next generations. Right? We should tap into their information. Yeah. So who hired this old mom? Yeah, so who hires the old mom? Yeah. Good people. Good people, that's right. Good people. People who are not profit driven, because if you're profit driven, you won't be able to afford to be that. You have to have deep pockets, right? It's probably costing them money and so on. Unless they can find a compromise between this added value this person has is more than what a robot can provide. 
right? It, instead of being in the labor, they will be in the people skill. Yeah. Right? Management or creativity. So there's a system who is trying to squeeze the benefit as, as much as you yeah. can. And there's another system that wants to release this benefit yeah. to, this, to make these people. Because the economic system always sees money, it's an accounting, right? it's always sees money. Uh, so many people and organizations are now seeing the social impact is another core dimension. Traditionally, we've always had two effects. Uh, we've got a uh, return on investment, and we've got oh, this. Okay, we've always had these two dynamics in on it, but what's happening now is there's a third leg forming on the two-dimensional, the three-dimensional, and we have a
just maybe maybe just just uh, just at least at least three reasons to answer why. And just follow your curiosity. Really, I mean, you're curious. You have questions, but you just ah, I want to ask. But you're curious, just keep following the questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you mean practice to ask why? Always asking why. Yeah, like wait, oh, right. that's it. And do not satisfy of what reason you found. Yeah, one opinion, right? One opinion. Uh, Check something out. At least three. You know? At least three. Always. Always. At least three reasons. Yeah, I, I will ask why uh, outside my home, but. After I go home, I'm not going to ask why. If I keep asking why, I will get. Uh, <laughs> get right. No, you can ask in your mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was asked why in my mind. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you don't have to ask people. Yeah. Yeah. So why the traffic jam? There's thousands of reasons. Uh -huh. Go deeper, deeper. Go home and smell your wife. Why do you smell funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any other else? <coughs> I'm sure we have enough time. Anybody got the time? Do you want? Anybody got time? I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. Show. Anybody else have homework before he sets up? <laughs> uh, I, maybe I want to ask why to uh, this course, this class. Why we had this class? Yeah. Good question. We need to make money. <laughs> that was our first reason, right? No. It's no? Not my first reason. What's the first reason? My first reason is uh, in, in this, in the good work community, there's few people can dare to speak English to you. Oh, yeah. And what more people can just speak English very so that they can catch any information from you. And globally too. Yeah, that, that's my reason. Uh, my reason was money. <laughs> okay. Wanted the money. Yeah, I 
helium, helium, tritium, star, and you know the celestial body.
就是这是因为，呃，所以就是宇宙不断扩张的过程，然后去把它解解释这个。哦，对，还有另外一个就是说，因为我们光，我们知道光它走的速度是一秒绕地球几圈半，那可是事实上，宇宙扩张的速度是超过这个速度，它比光走的速度还快，所以说，就是在光传递的这个过程中，原本可能走的距离只有这样，可是在宇宙扩张的过程下，它的距离开始慢慢又被拉长，所以有些星。可能说，同样，距离地球，它花的时间可能原本只需要，假设它要五秒，它要四秒，可是在宇宙扩张的过程下，它从原本的五秒，会变成可能需要十秒，然后它变成可能需要六秒，所以它的那个时间差开始逐渐被拉大。嗯，重重点是路径变长。对，路径变长了。所以，而且。But there's a there's a question. Um, Einstein said that no no there's no material can can move faster than light. But why this this planet and star can stand faster than light? Uh, 所谓说没有东西移动的速度超过光，它指的是在呃。它指呃，所以它指的是在一个我们所知道的一个正常时间下，我们去测光的速度是测哦 ，time， time， yeah， it's not moving faster than light， it's the time span， yeah， time span， yeah， the， 这时间不一样，对，时间的比较时间不一样，对，它它是讲的是说 ，gravity can affect the effect， yeah。
area. Second floor, 